Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to the Unapologetic Squad. In this video, we'll be discussing the interview with Angela Lee and August Alsina. And later on in the video, you'll be watching the most current video where Jada brings herself to the red table with her husband, Will Smith. But before I get into this commentary, please like the video, subscribe, and then push the notification bell so you'll know whenever I upload more videos like this and become a part of the notification squad. So let's get into this conversation. Here in this interview, we have with Angela Yee and August Alsina, where he opens up about his relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith and how it affects him, his career, how he's perceived, and how he's dealing with it emotionally how he made the choice to walk away and how he is now healing from it. So guys, let's sit back and let's take a minute to view a section of this video that I felt was very, very important. So let's watch now. You know, August is dating Jada Pinkett Smith and mm -hmm. that was something that was circulating as a rumor and that kind of solidified it to people. So right. what was the real situation with Jada Pinkett Smith? Cause I don't know if you were pursuing her or mm -hmm. you guys had just a close family type of relationship. And yeah. I would love for you to be able to shed that. This is what I'll say. Um, people can have whatever ideas that they like, but what I'm not okay with is uh, my character you know, being in question mm -hmm. when certain things are questionable that I know is not me or that I know that I, I haven't done, you know, contrary to what some people may believe, I'm not a troublemaker. You know, I don't, I don't like drama. Drama actually makes me nauseous. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I also don't think that it's ever important for people to know what I do, who I sleep with, who I date, right? But uh, in this instance, it's very different because, as I said, there's so many people that uh, are side-eyeing me, looking at me questionable about it. I mean, I've lost money, friendships, relationships behind it, and um, I think it's, it's because people don't necessarily know the truth, but I've never done anything wrong. Mm -hmm. I love those people, right. literally, like my family. I don't ever have, I don't have a bad thing to say about them. They are beautiful people. You know, when something starts affecting my life, um, and not only affecting my life, but affecting my wellness, and my, my well-being, and also starts to block my heart, my heart space is blocked. I don't really have a choice but to express my truth. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times and it, you know, not involving romanticism. Mm -hmm. He gave me his blessing and I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know, and I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Um, I, I devoted myself to it. I gave my full self to it. So much so to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself to somebody. Right, you did the right thing. And I really loved a person. I experienced that. I know what that that feels like, and some people never get that in this lifetime. So I'm, I'm, I know that I'm completely blessed. And this conversation is, is difficult because there's so much that it would be hard for people to um, understand. But once it starts to affect me and my livelihood, I have to speak up about my truth and stand on my tin with anything that may come along with it. So in this hour long interview, he states his truths. 
He doesn't hide the fact that he was in love with Jada Pinkett, that he was, in fact, deeply, passionately in love with her, and he has no regrets. And so I thought that this was a very important piece of the interview to show you guys before we watch the Red Table Talk. You guys comment down in the comment sections what you guys think and how you guys feel about the situation. Uh, like he says, he would have never brought it public, but because it has tarnished his image and it does something to him as far as what people perceive him to be, this is the reason why he's speaking out on it. He also wants to clear up any bad energy that might be out there in the universe. Um, you know, people have this negative commentary about him saying he's a home wrecker but you guys will see it in the next video where i post the red table talk with jada pinkett smith so guys don't forget to list down in the comment section what you guys think so far about this video and tell me you know what you guys think about this situation and what you would have done but till then you guys staying by and watch this video with the red table talk this red table for me um just all the stuff that's going on in the press mm -hmm. i felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement i made mm -hmm. that went cray cray and one of the reasons why i wanted to come to the table is the media the headlines oh. we specifically never said anything, anything. Yes. We were purposely not saying anything. Any headline that says Jada said or Will said or the Smith said mm -hmm. is not true. We specifically never said anything. Right. So coming to the table was like we just felt like it got to the point where you got to say something. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and to stop that cycle. Yeah. You know, there's people's feelings involved. Right. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, yeah. I don't like how all of this came to be mm -hmm. that doesn't matter mm -hmm. it's all love mm -hmm. honestly and i would usually not you know that that would be something i wouldn't comment on at all yeah you know and i feel like it's a situation that i c consider private you just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody nobody's business, business yeah. but yeah but now black twitter has <laughs> claimed it as their business <laughs> but you know i feel like it's it's healing that needs to happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now yeah even though this is minuscule i do feel like it's these kinds of things that create the world that we're in mm -hmm. and the idea of not communicating yeah. not talking about it not clearing the air and just being as transparent mm -hmm. just Absolutely. being transparent and I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I thank you for that, because you've been on a hell of a journey with me. So yeah. that's what we're going to start with, we're is that this with... is a very personal journey yeah. that became very public. Yes, absolutely. For whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yeah, started a, there. I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. and we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help, mm -hmm. you know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for me, that was the thing. When I, when, um, when Aug first came around, he was, he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick, yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health yeah and i mean we found all those different resources mm -hmm. you know to help pull him through mm -hmm. and from there you know you and i were going through a very difficult time yeah and we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time, and you go figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, 
you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. And one thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, which is, uh, you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what... August was probably trying to communicate mm -hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated mm -hmm. amicably. Yeah. And I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker, mm. which he's not. I think so. I mean, because this is your red table and you like brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm-hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only to realize that that wasn't possible. So we come to the red table. So I'm in the, I'm in the Jada position right now. So, okay. you know, you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like? Um, you were looking for i just wanted to feel good mm -hmm. it had been so long mm -hmm. since i felt good yeah. and it was really a joy to just help heal somebody yeah i think that has a lot to do with my codependency which is another thing that i had to learn to break in this cycle mm -hmm. just that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help, whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions, mm -hmm. there's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with all really showed me that mm -hmm. and taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> and that husband, I'm with, now I got to be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you like tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> well, like I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand mm -hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Through that particular journey, I learned so much mm -hmm. about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity, mm -hmm. emotional insecurity. Mm -hmm. And I was really able to do some really deep healing, mm -hmm. you know. And as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I, he decided to break all communication with me, right. which was totally understandable. Right. Um, and I let that be and hadn't talked to him since. No. So it is a little weird that all this stuff is coming out yeah. now since this was. Yeah, because for me, several... this was years ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, so the fact that it's uh, coming up now and I think it could feel weird for people that we're laughing and, and talking about it. But it happened it, so long ago, you know, and our experiences of working through it, fighting through it, talking through it, and therapizing right. through it. I think that the why now is weird. Yeah. When I say it's been a huge healing on my life and just what I had to confront and discover, yeah. you know, about myself, yeah. the ugly truths mm -hmm. and the beauty. Mm -hmm. So it was something that I felt like wasn't really ready to be mm -hmm. discussed because it hadn't been that. Mm -hmm healing because he hasn't wanted to you know aug and i haven't talked in so long 
You know what I mean? So I don't know. This 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 all seemed very strange, yeah. you know. But I'm just I'm grateful for the journey that you and I have had together. Yeah. Because I feel like there are a lot of couples that go through those periods yeah. and a lot of couples that have to separate and yeah. think it's over and yeah. you know, the one thing I'll say about you and I is that there's never been secrets. Right. We came together uh young and we were both broken in our own ways and to be able to make mistakes without the fear of losing your family is so critical. Yeah, it's the idea of any relationship and trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire. Yeah. There's no way around it. Yeah. And I think that one of the things that I'm deeply grateful in this whole process between you and I is that we have really gotten to that new place yes. of unconditional love. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like the fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would no, agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just certain things that you have to go through, and it's like... And I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. Absolutely. I wish yeah, that sure. wasn't the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and mirror. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm just happy, because I definitely believe that you and I, we never, ever, ever thought that... We would make yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah. There's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what. Yeah. And you really can't know that. Until you go until through, some through some stuff, you know. I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first. And then... You're going to get me back. I think you've gotten me back. <laughs> I think you've... <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. but, um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> that's what you want. <laughs> uh, um, but, you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were, were married. What did you tell me? That... I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. You thought I was that, that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah. I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. How am I doing? You're doing great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're awesome. <laughs> So there you guys have it. You have watched a whole complete video from the Red Table Talk with Jada Smith and her husband Will Smith concerning August Alcina. Well, guys, I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me down in the comment section how you felt about what was discussed during this Red Table Talk. Um, I don't know. I think they kind of play it down a little bit. They kind of not taking it as serious as August may made it seem to him. And maybe it's true for them. It's Maybe it's not as serious to them as it is to August Alcina. There is a lot of healing that needs to take place. You can see in body language that Will Smith was extremely uncomfortable. You can also see in body language that his face expression showed some discontent, some unhappiness, some sadness, um, and maybe even some anger at some points. You can watch the video and pay attention to some of the body language. And you'll see that he expresses in his words one thing, but in his body language, he expresses it in a certain, in a different manner. 
also i think that this is not the end i think that there is a tremendous amount of healing that still needs to take place i think because this can of worms is now reopened i do believe that will smith and jada pinkett smith is going to have to rehash some old feelings that were from back then that may not have been dealt with that may have been suppressed because you can definitely tell in the joking manner that Will Smith had with Jada and kind of her like eh, ease face expressions that um, a lot of this is new. Maybe he was unaware of how she truly felt about August and their relationship and how exactly true and passionate that it actually was. So I think there is some more that needs to be approached and addressed here in this situation and now that we've heard from both of them and concerns of it this is a clip from the video where Angela Yee and August Alsina mentions how he felt about them not speaking up so let's listen is it disappointing that she never addressed it um, to you because like you said you lost out on opportunities yeah. and if there's you know, a I, I, I really can't even, I never even can get into the thought of that because I'm only responsible for myself, right? And I'm only responsible for, uh, you know, what I do. When I'm repressing and suppressing things and it starts to affect me, I have to address it. I just always stay silent because I never want to be the, the person to cause confusion because I love these people. I really genuinely do. And I... And I, I truly, truly believe that August Alsina is telling the truth 100%. First of all, um, as you guys have known in other previous videos of mine, I discuss body language. And as I watched this interview with him and Angela Yee, his body language showed me that he was totally open, that he was totally confident in his words. Uh, his body expression showed me that he was totally relaxed, that he didn't really have a lot to hide, and he didn't have a whole lot to lose. So, um, yeah, I totally believe that his perception of this entanglement, as Jada Pinkett Smith has stated that it was, this relationship was exactly... Um, the way he interpreted it, you know what I'm saying? And as, as we all know, our perception is our reality. So however you perceive a situation to be, that's your reality. So it may possibly be that he believes it to have been something that it wasn't to her. So in this situation, it becomes very, very, very tricky because like both of them have stated, they were both extremely hurt. They were both going through issues during a time where they were dealing with heartbreak, with relationship issues, with um, addictions. And so when you involve all of that in this, it's so easy to, to misinterpret things and it's so easy to have a misconception or have deception um, play a major role in how people perceive it to be. So um, this is a crazy situation that they're in. I'm glad that both of them are speaking up on it because like he has stated, um, he has dealt with people um, judging him. He has suffered relationships and it has... It has put a hindrance on his music and probably with people that want to deal with him on a professional level because of their um, misconception of what's going on you know, in the relationship. So um, I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, that they're, that they're discussing it. But let's carry on. Okay. So that's my final thoughts on that, guys. You guys let me know again what you guys think in the comments section. <sighs> this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. 
There are so many unresolved emotions, unresolved feelings that still need to be approached and addressed. And until they come to their f complete truths, I guess we'll never know. But until then, guys, you guys, what did you learn from this video? What did you learn from this situation? You guys list it down in the comment section. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload more videos like this one. And become a part of the notification squad. Till then, guys, I'll see you in the next video.